In actuality, there are three things which are most common that people rant about on YouTube. It's I'm gonna cover each one individually. I know it might be hard seeing through that little background, so I might change the color just so that you can be able to read it. No, I won't. Cause I'm lazy as fuck. So basically, the first thing people will complain about is the song "Baby" by Justin Bieber. I actually looked into the lyrics of that song, and from what I get, it's basically implicitly about a break. Oh, it's explicitly about a breakup, but maybe implicitly it's the first breakup of someone. Implicitly, and they're disappointed. They were expecting this to go on and lead into eternal satisfaction or something. Which is signaled by the lyrics, Baby, 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 oh, I thought you will always be mine, mine, mine. Okay, here's the thing I don't get. The song's the most campy-ass song ever. That song makes me want to be in a relationship just to get broken up. Because it makes it seem like the happiest thing in the world. I mean, you don't even have to listen to her melody or her singing. Just, or... The, the ludicrous is funny tonalities when he's rapping as if he, it was when I had my first love it was 13 she broke my heart good times good times but you can look at the music video they're all happy as hell man they're cheering him on in his first breakup it makes me want to get broken up that's how happy the song <laughs> and this and this sucks because that's not what they're going for at all that's, and that's probably why everyone hates the song. It's too cutesy. It's too unrealistic. And no one thinks like that in the world. No one in the world thinks like that. <laughs> I can't wait for my first breakup. Can't wait for that shit. No one waits for that shit. Songwriter's a stupid ass motherfucker. And then we got Friday by Rebecca Black. Now, when I first found out about the song, I was hoping it'd be in the soundtrack to. Friday, that Ice Cube film, but no, nah, my expectations weren't reasonable. And this is what I don't get about the song. It's an intentional fail, melodically, lyrically, and basically in terms of passion in her singing voice. Everything's supposed to annoy you. So you think, well, if someone intends to succeed and it becomes a bigger success, is that a huge success? What if someone makes intentional fail? Well, then they succeed. But what if the fail becomes bigger than they hope to be? Then they really fucked up. Then they really failed. She was expecting the people to f a few people, like a few thousand people, to find the song annoying. What she got was basically millions of people who want to kill her. And she was heartbroken on Twitter. She was acting like a badass, which she can't pull off anymore because she wrote a stupid ass song. She can't act badass about it. So she, she basically failed at an extremity because it succeeded her expectations. What's more? What's more? We also got the film Twilight, which is commonly hated and it's the biggest thing that you two partners criticize. Now, this is my opinion on the film. I saw all three movies, read some of the books, because my friends and family recommended it for me. And I, of course, don't read books or any literature outside of internet blogs and articles. However, this is a tangent. This is why I don't get about the films. I'm just going to talk about the films. There's no sex appeal. You can't have a film about teenage adolescence which has sexual tension without the sexual tension. That's like having a horror film that's not sex scary at all. I mean, my videos are scarier than this shit. Look at this in my background, this red blood that's glowing. That's scary as fuck. That's scarier than this whole... And that's m more scary than this film tries to be sexy. And it has, like, 
Edward and Bella and they're like their sexual tension isn't sexy at all. It's disgusting, I really. I mean, they kiss as if it's both of their first kisses, and they have sex. It's like, and it's like this is Edward's first time having second base. Edward needs to get bitten by a black guy next time, so he can turn into a vampire who's a pimp. That's what he needs. He needs to get bitten by a Prince. So I think Prince is a vampire by now. I know he's implicitly gay. <laughs> Sorry, Prince. I'm just joking. And the fights are also horrible. And there's no... It's like they're always engaged in killer cat fights. The way they fight, um... I was... Come on, give me some quality. Do a roundhouse kick. Do a rudimentary... Taekwondo technique, wrestle each other. I don't care. Just make the fights seem like actual fights. I get it. They're not humans. They must fight in a different way. Yeah, basically, this is the way they fight doesn't make any sense and it's not thrilling at all. It's basically just random movements and neck twists and body contortions at fast speed. We're tearing them to shreds at fast speed in a non-gory manner. It's stiff, it's awkward, it's laughable. If you've got no good sexual tension, you don't have any good fighting, then all that's left is plot and characters. And how did that turn out? Well, trust me, movies can have horrible ass and horrible ass characters yet if they're trying to be hard and they could pull off with some good sexual tension and fighting Twilight has none of these things the characters are shallow I don't feel like I'm dealing with a teenage girl I feel like I'm dealing with a preteen girl with down syndrome and basically all the other characters are just figments of her imagination. That's what I feel like I'm dealing with. And the plots are basically... This, it sounds like they're written by a person with Alzheimer's. Like they forget when they think they're going for a good motive for a plot. And then they drop it entirely and realize, Holy shit, I've made an entire movie or book and stop devoid of any plot. So what, this is what I think about most of these books. Do I think you should get them? Well, that's what I think about the franchise. And this is what I think about the songs, too. I basically diss the big three things that most people criticize. And I really don't like any of them, but I don't like the people who don't like them either. If, if you hate Justin Bieber or Rebecca Black, but idolize Britney Spears or Drake, Justin McCartney, then you're no better. And if you hate Twilight, but love the Harry Potter franchise, boring ass franchise and you're no better either. Alright, I think I said everything that I needed to say. I might have started some controversy with the final statement, but I don't give a fuck anymore. Well, this is Mr. Rocka 7 or Leon Red or whatever the fuck they call me. Suck my dick.